What's up everybody, it's the RCL Man here. Welcome to another quick Rec Room tutorial today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use the Animation Gizmo. Now, to start using the Animation Gizmo, there's two things you're going to need. You'll need the Animation Gizmo itself, which you can find under Gadgets, Gizmos, Animation Gizmo. Pretty self-explanatory there. The second thing you're going to need to be able to start using this is some kind of item. Now, it can be an item that you make using the maker pen or it can be something like a prop today we're just going to use this car just to kind of demonstrate how you can begin using the uh, the animation gizmo here so to start off what you want to do is you want to hit let's see wire and you want to wire whatever it is that you're animating to the gizmo so since we're working with the car i'm going to click wire on the car and go to the very top here and then it will say object added to animation now to start animating your object, you're going to go to edit and you're going to click the actual animation gizmo, not the object itself. And uh, you can attach multiple objects to the animation gizmo. We're just going to work with one right now uh, just to give you like a beginner, you know, <coughs> uh, tutorial in using the animation gizmo. So when you hit edit, you're going to see this new menu pop up on your maker pen. Now the way the animation gizmo works is with keyframes. Right now, we only have one keyframe. We can't move it at all. It's at the very, very end here. So we've only got one keyframe, and in this keyframe, the car is right there. Now, to demonstrate using this, we're gonna have the car just roll across the table, all right? So, to add another keyframe, we hit add. That goes to the second keyframe. So first keyframe, it's over here. Second keyframe, we want it over there. Make sure you have the second keyframe selected. And then we're going to hit move. And we're just going to move it over there. So now it's over there. We're also going to move it down a little bit just to keep it on the table, kind of level on the table. Um, okay, so now uh, if you hit play, there you go. You can see it's just moving right along the table there now a real car doesn't just move at a constant speed like this it's gonna speed up and slow down so we're gonna try and make it look a little bit more realistic here to do that we're gonna stop the animation and we're gonna use these in and out options here so when we have it leaving point one or, or keyframe one when we have it coming out of keyframe one we're gonna hit this button it's going to change to ease now what that's going to do is make it speed up so when you have it on linear you see it's just moving at a constant speed and that's what these dots represent these dots show you it's just moving at a constant speed but if you hit out and go to ease you can see they get shorter they get further away that means it's speeding up and we'll show you that you can see it kind of speeds up as it goes along now you can also do let's stop that can also do ease fast to make the effect more pronounced so let's see here play and you'll see it's even more pronounced there it speeds up even faster everything so we're gonna leave it like that now again a real car if you want it to stop it's gonna slowly stop or it's gonna take some time to stop it's not just gonna stop automatically so we're gonna do the same thing on this side except we're gonna go to keyframe 2 at the very end and we're going to change the end. So how do we want it to reach that point? Well, we want it to ease into it. So we're going to do E. Let's just try ease regular, not ease fast. So we hit play and you'll see it kind of speeds up and then it slows down. So that's pretty much how that works. You can do in and out for both of these. However, you know, since you don't have anything beforehand, the in doesn't really do anything for this one. And so you don't have anything after that, the out doesn't really do anything for that. You can change the speed that these things are animated at. Uh, what you want to do is hit done editing. We're going to configure. And you're going to configure that. It'll pull up this menu over here. You're going to change the speed percentage. So let's say that car was going a little too fast. It was a little too reckless. Let's change it to 50 instead of 100. All right. And now I go back to edit. And I hit play. There you go. It's a little bit slower there. Still having the effect of speeding up and slowing down. Okay, so let's say you want it to stop doing this kind of repeat motion. See, right now it's just kind of respawning there at the beginning. Let's say you want to have it go back and forth, right? There's two ways that you can do this. The first way is, let's see, you're going to hit done editing here. And then what you're going to do is actually configure the, the object here. 
and you're going to put it in ping pong mode. So all this does is make your animation just play backwards and forwards. So let's go edit and let's hit play and you see instead of respawning there it just goes back and forth. You know what I mean? Pretty self-explanatory. So the second way we can do this, let's reverse what we just did. Configure, put back in loop mode. All right, and then edit. Okay, so then the second way that we can do this is we can add a third keyframe and have it just move back to that position. So let's go to keyframe two. Let's add a new keyframe. This will be the third keyframe. Then we're gonna go back to keyframe one. We're gonna copy its position. And then we're gonna go to keyframe three and paste its position. So now if we hit play, it'll do the exact same thing. It just has an extra keyframe. And that gives you a little bit more control if you wanna change certain things. Uh, let's see, so let's just hit play and just show you that there. There you go. All right, you can attach multiple objects to the animation tool, um, as I said earlier. So let's just try that real quick. Let's just create a cube here. Um, we're done editing that. Let's wire it up to the same animation tool. Um, and then we're gonna edit that animation tool. And let's just say, you know, keyframe one. Oh, you have to select it specifically. So select that item specifically. You can select the car or you can select that, but let's just select that specific, whoops, that specifically. All right, and then let's say uh, keyframe one, we want it here. Let's go keyframe two, we just wanna, I don't know, we'll just raise it up a little bit. You know, we'll give it, we'll, we'll let it float a little bit. And then uh, keyframe three, let's just uh, pull it to the right, you know what I mean? So now, uh, when we hit play, it'll follow that new path that we just made. There we go. See, there it goes. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So there's one last thing I wanna show you about the animation gizmo before we go. And that's how to get it to move like just by itself while it's out in the game. Um, now there's two different ways you can do it and it's a little weird to get it to stop. Um, what you wanna do is just configure this dot right here. When you configure that, just change it to any number other than zero and it'll start playing. And that's pretty much, if you just leave it alone after that, it'll just play constantly. Now, you can also set it up by, you know, having a button that puts a one signal in here, or basically any numbered signal into that. But if you want to stop it, the way that you stop it, again, is by putting a signal into here that's a one or a zero. Even if you change this back to zero, even if you change it back to zero, it's still going to just go. So once you get it started, it'll just go. What you have to do is then send a signal through the stop pin here. So it's a little, it's a little weird. Um, let's pull out like a, a button here and you'll see what I'm saying. So for instance, this button will send out a one signal whenever you push it. So if I push this button now, it'll stop. So basically anytime you put a number in here, it's just gonna go, even if you delete that number later. The only way to get it to stop without actually editing it and stopping it uh, is to have some sort of signal come into here to stop it. Well, that's about everything for the animation gizmo. If you did like the video, go ahead, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. RCL Man, out.